We had some amazing candidates. They blew my mind away. They're still under 35 and they've achieved so much. We have candidates coming from entrepreneur, uh, academia. Uh, we've got uh, candidates coming from corporate and we've had a few that were in public sector. So the standard was very high. It's a privilege to be at the SICA Top 35. The fact that I've been nominated as part of the Top 35, you know, is a validation in itself. It was a very great experience to, to get their views and to get their questions based on my submission. It was nerve-wracking. They time you. They put the time on. <laughs> they time The CA brand to me means an ability to be exact in your measurement. The CA brand for me provided the, the opportunity to go into any field, anything I wanted to do. I think the CA brand is uh, built on the pillar of integrity. I think it's an indication of quality. Uh, the CA brand for me really opens doors. Um, I think too often we, we tend to look at the CA brand as like a destination. You cannot look at it as a destination because it puts you in, uh, in spaces whereby you wouldn't normally have been able to operate with it. And in my presentation earlier I said it's all about balance. I do believe in, in, in a balance and in values. So Very balanced. Or balance. In balance. 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 Balanced. I struggled to get it right for a long time. Yeah, you know, I think I think success is measured in different ways, not only uh, in business or from a monetary perspective, but also in, in, in one's personal life. I think it's something that makes you feel good, um, and it's something that you're constantly working towards. Because you're waking up every morning and you're excited about what you want to do. No, I, I think for me it's just a sense of pushing yourself Success always goes hand in hand with the impact that it has on other people. Doing something for somebody that has no chance of repaying you, that is success for me. I'm very passionate about, uh, you know, education. How many realities have I changed? How many people's realities have I changed? And fun. Fun is an important part of my definition of success as well. And I don't think there's that point where you ever go, I'm successful. Once you decide what you're going to do with your life, you always go to like a, you know, an industrial psychologist. And, and she really gave me one option. There was one option, that was a Bachelor of Accounting and Laws. I like the number subjects in school as well, mathematics, accounting. Numbers, uh, mathematics and, and accounting at school. I initially intended to do medicine. I did all my community service. Then I actually switched to engineering. I've always wanted to be an astronaut, to be honest. In, back in the days, I thought I would do something in the field of computers. Uh, you see, I, I always wanted to be a journalist, you know. I used to be that irritating kid who used to like go around the house doing interviews with people and family members. What makes me me is probably not taking life too seriously. <laughs> I like to try and keep a fun work environment. I like to keep a relaxed work environment. I'm very much an extrovert. I'm an adventurer. I love adventure, I love change. I love the process of learning new things. I'm quite a simple guy, I, I like to take the mickey out of people. I'd like to think this is a very serious thing, but I'm quite a clown. Guys at the office, as I said, call me the chief dreamer because they say I don't do any work. I, I would say uh, I'm very enthusiastic, I'm extremely fast-paced, I'm self-motivated. If I had a win, then I would throw a massive party. Champagne bottles, popping. I think that's absolutely that's an absolutely excellent question. I don't even know what yes, people yes. win, to be honest. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, to be honest, I think it's something you don't really uh, allow yourself to think about. That is a difficult question. Of course, I never miss breakfast. Oats. No, go start your day with oats. <laughs> Actually, I had nothing. Uh, I could make schaat for my baby. Um, but I don't know if I do a job is hard. And I guess hunger now. Do you have a stuck in a court to make 20 seconds answer or long choral answer? How long do you want the answer to be? Short or long? Short. Okay. Um, huh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> this is an incredible opportunity where we showcase, you know, what the profession does in terms of influencing the public. And they show that they can beat the odds and achieve success regardless of what stepped up against them. Uh, they're going and having a huge impact in, in society and if we can have more like them, South Africa is going to be a very different place in 10 years from now. <laughs>